Hello, uh, welcome to the Wednesday um, music session. Um, I'm going to talk you through a little bit about how I make uh, music in the studio today. Um, so I've been working on a track which is so far just titled Percussion and Isolation and this is using a lot of the elements I've got here in the studio. So we've got the congas here, uh, we've got a gato log drum here, bongos. I've actually got one of the hand sonics which we do have at school, um, a drum machine um, and a synth uh, and then I'm just running this through um, and recording everything and multi-layering things in Logic again, the same software that we're using at school. So I'll just play you a tiny little bit of this and as you can see I've got a little split screen going so I've got my arrangement view up in the top window and I've got my uh, mixing window down here at the bottom. So a lot of little uh, different elements of recording is going on here. I recorded some stuff on the congas, recorded some stuff on the log drum. And what I tried to do was just get a bunch of different polyrhythms going simultaneously to give it this kind of thick texture. Underneath, I've just got a drone. Some of the elements of percussion are being run through uh, a space echo pedal, which essentially acts as a kind of a delay and a reverb pedal. Um, these are all examples of um, what we call outboard hardware, so effects and instruments. But all of these things exist in Logic, whether it's as um, a plugin, such as a reverb plugin or a compression plugin, or internal instruments. For this project I've used mainly external instruments rather than internal ones. So as well as all, as well as all of these different bits of uh, live percussion I've also used the drum machine here. You can just start to hear the drum machine coming in. So on its own the drum machine sounds like this. If I was to play you this element through the actual drum machine itself as you can see, this one's got a heavy filter on it, but what you can do is add elements of reverb. Add elements of delay. And then change the pattern. You can also bring in multiple different things at different points or add different elements to it. So I use the drum machine as well to add some layers to this. So if we go back to the track itself. Space echo. Yeah. Elements of live instrumentation such as the kalimba, which can be seen over here. So just using a lot of bits like this. layers that we have here. So we've got the TR8X drum machine, the congas, the gato, we've also got an Udu drum over here which is like a pop drum uh, which when soloed sounds like this. So if I just play a few of the layers together, Udu and a shaker, Two layers of the gato drum, two layers of the um, of the congas here, and then with the drum machine, and then with the synthesizer underneath, and then I've used a couple of elements of uh, software instruments, 
uh, which can be seen in the sub. And this exists in Logic 9 as well. So there's a lot of different stuff to be experimenting with. Microphone on your phone. Um, you could use pots and pans and anything within your house to record to get interesting percussive sounds. And then you could use software like Audacity or Ableton to do a free 90-day um, trial. And you can input those sounds into Ableton and manipulate them there. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun creating. 